Life Audio. Hello. Thank you for listening to Your Daily Bible Verse, the podcast that examines one verse each day to learn more about God and His will for us. I'm your host, Jennifer Slattery, and after this short word from our sponsor, we'll dive into today's Bible verse, Matthew 7, 6. Run the Army's race in person at the Pentagon. Army 10-Miler General Registration is now open. Go to Army10Miler.com to register today. General Registration presented by General Dynamics. Register today at Army10Miler.com. Hey there, it's Nicole Yunus from the How to Study the Bible podcast, and I'd love to invite you to join us as we weekly discover a passage of God's Word together. From beginning to end, from principles to practicals, we are here to make sure that God's Word is powerful and relevant to your life. If that sounds like something you're looking for, I would love to invite you to subscribe. You can go to lifeaudio.com and search How to Study the Bible, and we'll see you there. Today's Bible verse is Matthew 7, 6. Do not give what is holy to dogs, and do not throw your pearls before swine, or they will trample them under their feet and turn and tear you to pieces. We've probably all experienced situations where we tried to talk to someone to help them understand the impact of their behavior to resolve a conflict or seek reconciliation, only to see the person's heart grow harder and to have them use our words and our pain against us. Well, some time ago, someone close to me shared some ongoing hurts they were experiencing due to some unhealthy behaviors continually displayed by someone in their family of origin. My friend hoped if she honestly and calmly expressed her emotions and concerns, the other person would understand the damage that they had caused and they would change. Unfortunately, that wasn't what happened. Although my friend tried a few more times to seek true relational help, the other person wasn't interested. And my friend ended up feeling more deeply wounded. Relationships can be messy, painful, and confusing. God longs to see us love one another well, to seek reconciliation when possible, and to continually pursue increased personal and relational health, to take the initiative to address conflict, and to do so by showing the same gentleness and grace we want to receive. Because as Jesus stated in Matthew 7, verse 1, we will be judged in the same way in which we judge others. He spoke these words not to hinder honest and necessary communication, but to cushion our offense with the wisdom and understanding that comes from realizing that we have probably behaved in a similar fashion. We've all done and said things that have caused other people pain. And we will again. Plus, we all have quote unquote planks in our eyes, sinful tendencies, deception, scars from past wounds, all of these things that distort our perception and how we view ourselves, whomever we're in conflict with, and the problem stretching between us. To engage in healthy and holy conflict resolution, we must begin with ourselves, inviting God to search and purge our hearts, to remove our sin, and to replace our will, our thoughts, and our perspective with His. This humble position, outlined in the verses prior to today's, places us in the best position for healing and reconciliation. But as the shift in today's verse indicates, that's not how every encounter ends, because not everyone will respond well to clear and gentle yet challenging conversations. Some will choose bitterness over forgiveness, sin over transformation, and pride over humble love. Based on the context surrounding today's verse, it appears these are the type of people Jesus was referring to. In Jewish culture, dogs came to symbolize those who behaved in an ignorant, barbaric, and predatory manner, those who showed contempt for truth. As BibleRef.com states, quote, This verse is a warning to Christians, don't waste time or invite harassment from those who are obviously hostile, end quote. In the first century, pearls were considered the most costly of all jewels. They were used in today's verse to illustrate the value of truth. Proverbs 2 verses 2 to 5 paints a similar analogy when it states that we are to turn our ear to wisdom and apply our heart to understanding. Indeed, if you call out for insight and cry aloud for understanding, and if you look for it as for silver, 
and search for it as for hidden treasure. Then you'll understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. As David Guzik from The Enduring Word states, godly correction is a pearl, though it may sting for a moment, that must not be cast before swine, those who are determined not to receive it, end quote. This reminds us that truthful words are precious treasures of utmost value, regardless of how someone else responds. What calls one person to life might cause someone else to snarl and lash out, to tear the other person to pieces by twisting the situation, using their words against them, slandering or manipulating them rather than seeking honest, humble, God-led transformation. Therefore, we must heed Christ's words recorded in Matthew 10, verse 16, when he said, quote, I am sending you out like sheep among wolves. Therefore, be as shrewd as snakes and as innocent as doves. Shrewd as snakes, so remaining alert, but also gentle and pure as we prayerfully discern when wisdom leads us to speak and when it bids us to quietly, peacefully walk away. Or maybe to phrase it differently, when to love someone from up close and when to love them from a distance, always being careful not to let someone else's bad behavior negatively affect ours. The next time we're experiencing relational tension, let's spend time prayerfully reading Matthew 7, verses 1 through 6, determined to do our part, to actively and honestly evaluate and then remove the planks in our eyes, those things that are distorting our vision. But before engaging in a potentially painful conversation, considering, will this person hear truth? And when we do engage, remaining alert to signs that indicate it's time to end the discussion, praying that God, who has the power to soften the hardest of hearts, will do so in this case and one day allow for true, honest, healthy, and loving resolution. And may we, in those situations, where our heart breaks at the reconciliation we long for, but that maybe the other person isn't ready or able to participate in. May we receive deep comfort from the God who knows us, who sees us, who loves us, and who will never leave us. Let's pray. Holy Father, we know you long to see us in deep, connected relationships. You yourself said it is not good that we, your people, would be alone. You know the hunger in our hearts for connection, and you also know how much it hurts when those connections are broken, when they're unhealthy, when they're not what our souls need, what our souls crave. Give us wisdom in this relationally messy world to know when to speak, when to pray, when to wait, when to listen, when to pull away. Guide us moment by moment, step by step. And Lord, we lift up all of our hurts, all of our difficult relationships to you. We know that you have the power to transform the most challenging situation and to soften the hardest heart. So help us to trust in you. Help us to follow you. Give us wisdom. Give us strength. Give us courage. Give us comfort when we're grieving. And also give us moments of joy. Remind us of your love and your presence. Remind us that you love us fully, completely, and without reservation, and you always will. It is in the name of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, that we pray. Amen. Your Daily Bible Verse is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com. Run the Army's race in person at the Pentagon. Army 10-Miler General Registration is now open. Go to Army10Miler.com to register today. General Registration presented by General Dynamics. Register today at Army10Miler.com.